first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number two on the topic ratio and the proportion so now we are going to solve 15 important question that is based on the concept called finding a ratios so friends before solving this question so don't forget to watch the previous lesson because previous lesson will be lesson number one ratio proportion introduction so introduction is the most important video because you guys need to before see before solving this question you guys need to know what is called as ratio and what is called as proportion how the ratio question will looks like and how to find the proportion values so all these points i have told you in the previous lesson that is lesson number one introduction so in the, in the topic lesson number one introduction i have told you three important concepts one is what is called a ratio and what is called a proportion and second important thing types of ratio so what are all the different types of ratios are there that is a duplicate ratio triplicate ratio sub duplicate ratio sub triplicate ratio and the compound ratio inverse ratio so these are the different types of ratio and I have explained by solving some example question in the previous video right and the third important note in the previous video is the ratio value should not be in terms of fraction so never forget that point not only in this lesson number two right for the complete ratio proportion topic you need every time while solving a question you need to keep that point in your mind that the values of ratio should not be in terms of fraction in case if we are getting an answer final answer in terms of fraction or else in the given question itself the ratio values are in terms of fraction so first what you need to do take an lcm convert the fraction value into integer value and then start solving the question so once understood always remember this point the ratio value should not be in terms of fraction always it should be in terms of integer understood and uh, that's it right three important points what i have told you in the previous lesson and uh, in this lesson where i'm going to solve 15 question that was previously asked in many competitive exams question that we are going to solve here and after just see before solving the question right so before solving the question one point you need to remember the most important point uh, many students have a doubt on these areas for example a is to b for example i'm saying a is to b will be 2 is to 3 right so for some cases right for some cases we will take directly a is equal to b b is equal to 3 understood or not the value of a to and b equal to 3 for some cases we will take the values directly but for some cases we will take a as 2x b as 3x understood so while solving the question you guys need to know this right for some a values for some values right for the some question we will take the value of a as it is the given number or else for some cases we will take the value of a as 2x and 3x so here how to take these two what is the difference between these two right just keep this point in your mind in the given question right in the given question the values are in ratio the final answer what they are asking is also in terms of ratio then use this logic friends understood the given question is a ratio value and the final answer what they are asking is also in terms of ratio then go with this method in case if the given values are in terms of ratio but the final answer they are asking in terms of numbers in this scenario you need to take a as 2x and b as 3x so friends understood right so because most students will have this doubt for some question why you are taking a values directly and for some question why you are not taking the value directly you are keeping it as 2x and 3x most of the students will have the doubt so the meaning here is i have explained all these steps in the previous video right of what is called 2 is to 3 everything but remember that if the given in the given question the values what they have given is ratio and in the answer also they are asking the values in terms of ratio you can take the values directly in case in the question they have given a ratio value in the answer they are asking the values in terms of numbers not in ratio in terms of numbers so in that case you need to take the value of a as 2x and value of b as 3x so friends understood so that's it so we have seen the basics of this lesson number two so now let me move on to 15 important question on the topic finding ratios question number one so if a is to b is to c will be 2 is to 3 is to 4 then we need to find what is a by b b by c and c by a 
So friends, listen here. In the given question, right? This is the given question. So given question, they have given the values in terms of ratio. In the answer also, they are asking the value in terms of ratio. Yes or no? Right? We need to find A by B is to B by C is to C by A. What do you need to do? Given question is ratio. Answer is also they are asking in terms of ratio. So you can directly substitute the value A equal to 2, B equal to 3 and C equal to 4. You will get the answer. In case if they are asking an answer like A by B plus B by C plus C by A. Right? They are asking in terms of numbers. In that case, what you need to do, you have to take the value of A as 2x, value of B as 3x and value of C as 4x. So just now I have told you, right? So here in the given question, the given values are in terms of ratio as well as they are asking the answer in terms of ratio. So just directly substitute the value, right? So A is equal to 2 here divided by, so B is equal to 3, is equal to B by C. So B by C will be 3 by 4, understood? And the last will be C by A. So C by A will be 4 by 2. Understood or not? But you should not say this is the final answer. Why? Because remember one thing. Just now I have told you the ratio value should not be in fraction at any point. Even while saying the final answer, it should not be in fraction. It should be in integer. In case if you are not getting the uh, final ratio in terms of integer what you need to do you need to take the lcm right so 3 4 2 so take lcm as 12 here 4 into 3 will be 12 so 4 into 2 will be 8 so 4 into 3 will be 12 so 3 into 3 will be 9 so 6 into 2 will be 12 so 6 into 4 will be 24 so finally we can say that the answer for the question will be 8 is to 9 is to 24 so which is the answer for a by b b by c and c by a Understood or not friends? So always remember that the final answer should not be in terms of fraction. Not only the final answer, even while solving the question, the ratio value should not be in terms of fraction. It should always be in terms of integer. In case if you are getting the answer at any point in terms of fraction, take the LCM and then after solving the LCM value, you will get the final answer in terms of integer. So this will be the answer for question number one. Question number two. So if A is to B is equals to 2 is to 3 and B is to C will be 4 is to 5. So A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3 and the B is to C is equal to 4 is to 5. So what is the target? Our target is to find what is A is to B is to C. So friends, listen here, I will teach you one technique. By using the technique, you can able to solve even they ask A is to B is to C is to D whatever be by using learning only one technique right uh, one simple technique apply the technique for all the ratio proportion questions similar to this concept you can able to solve the question easily right so they have given a value a is to b 2 is to 3 understood b is to c 4 is to 5 but what, what now what is the target our target to find a is to b is to c just see what i'm doing so a is to b will be 2 is to 3 right substitute 2 is to 3 here understood but c value is unknown got it so second point, 4 is to 5. So B is to C will be 4 is to 5. So B is to C will be 4 is to 5. So in this case, where the value of A is unknown, understood or not, right? So here, one value is missing. In this case, where the C value is missing. So what you need to do is, in the missing place, write down the number which is nearer to this, right? What is the number nearer to this missing number is 3. So write 3 here. Similarly, in this missing place, what is the number nearer to this? It's 4, right? 4 here, right? Always I take the horizontal value, not the vertical value, right? Horizontal value, which is nearer to this is 4. So in this empty place, the nearer number is 3. So write down 3 here. So now you can multiply it. 4 into 2 is what? 8. So 4 into 3 is what? 12. So 5 into 3 is 15. So finally, you can say that the value of A is to B is to C will be 8 is to 12 is to 15. The same question can be solved in many different methods, right? Not only in this method, many different methods are there to solve the question. But according to me, learn any one method. Even if you are not comfortable with this method, if, if you are teacher or teaching in a different way, learn that method, not at all an issue. But learn only one method that should be applied for all the ratio proportion question. For every each and every question, if you are learning new new methods, it's completely waste of time. Sometimes you could have forgot that logic, right? In the exams, you don't know which method I should apply. So that's what I'm saying. Learn only one method. That method should be applied to all the ratio proportion questions so that it will be easy, right? By learning only one method, 
in the exams you won't forget that method so it is easy to solve so that's the reason i'm saying if you are comfortable with this method it's okay to solve or else if you are not comfortable then uh, in case if your teacher is teaching in a different method learn that method apply the logic here but in both the cases you will get the final answer as same understood friends so it's your wish to learn the method but always remember don't learn more than one or two methods to solve ratio proportion learn only one method that should apply to all the question so that's the reason i have taught you this method so if you learn this method then you can apply for all the questions okay so finally answer for question number two will be 8 is to 12 is to 15. question number three so if a is to b so a is to b is equals to 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 and the b is to c will be 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 so now what is our target our target is to find a is to b is to c okay a similar concept question but listen here the given value ratio is not in terms of integer it is in terms of fraction right you should not keep keep the fraction it, it, it's in terms of fraction so you should not keep the fraction value as it is what some students used to do is they will substitute directly here a will be 1 by 2 b will be 1 by 3 so don't do that it's it's wrong way of calculation right you will get the answer but it's a lengthy process right so first what you need to do here is take the lcm for the number and convert the given fraction in terms of integer got it so 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 so take 3 to lcm will be 6 got it so 3 into 2 will be 6 so 1 into 2 will be 3 so similarly 3 into 2 will be 6 1 into 2 will be 2 so finally we got a is to b will be 3 is to 2 understood so finally we converted the given fraction ratio in terms of integer right so similarly the second term so b is to c is equals to 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 so take lcm as 6 if you take lcm as 6 this will be 3 times this will be 2 times so b is to c will be 3 is to 2 understood so finally we got the values now in terms of integer so what is our target our target is to find a is to b is to c so now it is easy to find a is to b is to c will be where a is to b will be 3 is to 2 so one number is missing here that is empty place just now i have told you in the empty place write the nearby number so nearby number is 2 so right here second value b is to c will be 3 is to 2 so b is to c will be 3 is to 2 so here the number a is empty write the nearby number right so nearby number is 3 so now multiply 2 into 2 will be 4 3 into 2 will be 6 3 into 3 will be 9 so finally answer for this question will be 9 is to 6 is to 4 so this will be the answer for question number 3 understood or not right so even though they in the given question they are giving a values in terms of fraction initially convert the fraction value in terms of lcm take lcm and convert in terms of integer understood some students what they do is they will substitute the fraction value directly here after getting the final answer they will take an lcm and then they will convert the answer in terms of integer that is also one way of solving but remember that that will take a little bit lengthy process why because you you have to write the uh, fraction numbers here sometimes there is a chance of missing any fraction values so that's the reason i am saying initially convert the fraction in terms of integer and then if you substitute in this process then you will get the answer easily understood or not friends so finally answer for question number three is 9 is to 6 is to 4 question number 4 so a is to b will be 5 is to 7 and uh, c is to d right so c is to d will be 2a is to 3b and our target is to find what is a c is to bd so let's listen here in case if they're asking what is a is to c or a is to b is to c is to d all those cases we can apply the previous logic but here you have to multiply the two ratio values yes or no so we need to multiply a and c and then find ratio for b and d you got it so first what we can do here is this a is to b can be written as a by b is equal to 5 by 7 yes or both are same so similarly c by d is equals to 2a by 3b so now what is our target we need to find what is ac so ac is nothing but first value here a and first value here c so you need to multiply this a and c so 5 into 2a so this can be written as ac by bd right so ac by bd is equals to so multiply a value 5 and b value 2a so ac will be 5 into 2a so divided by bd so b value will be 7 d value will be 3b so bd will be 7 into 3b understood so this can be written as 5 by 7 
into 2 by 3 into a by b, right? So, for this a by b, we can substitute 5 by 7 again into 5 by 7. So, finally, when we multiply this, so I think we can't able to cancel anything. So, 5 into 2 will be 10. So, 10 into 5 will be 50. So, divided by, so 21 into 7. So, 147. So finally we can say that the answer for the question will be 50 by 147 or else you can say the answer is 50 is to 147. So this will be the answer for question number 4. Question number 5. So 3a is equals to 5b. right? So 3a equal to 5b. 4b is equal to 6c. Then find what is a is to c. So when you see here they have given a values in terms of ratios. right? What is they have given? 3a is equal to 5b. So this can be written as a by b is equals to 5 by 3. Yes or no? So we can say that a is to b is equals to 5 is to 3. So similarly, here 4b is equal to 6c. So this can be written as b by c. So b by c is equal to 6 by 4. So b is to c is equals to 6 is to 4. So when just see here, we know that a is to b will be 5 is to 3. And B is to C will be 6 is to 4. So by using A is to B and B is to C, first we can find what is A is to B is to C. And then it is easy to find what is A is to C. Just see here, what is the technique I have told you? A is to B is to C. So for A is to B, substitute 5 is to 3. So 5 is to 3 here. And the place C is empty. So write down the nearby number that is 3. So next point B is to C will be 6 is to 4. So 6 is to 4 here. So write the nearby number that is 6. So now what is a target? Our target is to find what is A is to C, not the B value. Only A is to C, right? So what is A here? 5 into 6. What is C here? 3 into 4. So now multiply it. So I think uh, 6 into 5 will be 30. 4 into 3 will be 12. So further we can simplify this on cancelling by 6 table. So if you cancel it by 6 table, this will be 5 times. Cancel it on 6 table 2 times. So 5 is to 2. So finally, we can say that answer for this question will be 5 is to 2. Understood or not, right? So it's easy, right? Actually, they have given a values in terms of something a different pattern. For example, 3a is equal to 5b. But what we need to do is we need to convert into a proper ratio value and then find what is a is to b is to c. So after finding a is to b is to c, we know that a, our target is not to find c value. Sorry, b value. Our target is to find only a is to c. So take only a is to c and multiply and check the answer. Got it? So finally a is to c will be 5 is to 2. Question number 6. So where a is to 5, right? So a is to 5 is equals to b is to 7 is equals to c is to 8. What is called as? This is called as proportion, right? Not the ratio. It's called as a proportion. I've told you this thing, right? When two equation, that is two ratio values is getting equated, then it is called as proportions, right? So a is to 5 is equal to b is to 7 is equal to c is to 8. Then what is our target? Our target is to find a plus b plus c divided by a. So what we can do here is a is to 5 can be written as a by 5, right? So b by b is to 7 can be written as b by 7. And similarly c is to 8 can be written as c by 8. So now the given values are in terms of ratio and what they are asking in terms of numbers, right? That is a plus b plus c divided by a. What we can do here is we know that the value of a is what 5. Because they are asking in terms of numbers, you need to substitute the value of a as 5x. Just now in the initial video I have told you, right? So substitute a is equal to 5x, b equal to 7x, c equal to 8x. So divided by the value of a will be 5x. That's it, right? So now add all the values. So this will be 15. This will be 20. So 20x divided by 5x. Cancel x and x here. 20 by 5 will be 4. So finally, answer for this question is 4. It's very simple, right? You don't want to confuse a lot to solve this question. So they have given the value in terms of proportion. That is two ratio values is equating as called as a proportion. So now how you can write this value? A is to 5 can be written as A by 5. B is to 7 can be written as B by 7. So C is to 8 can be written as C by 8. So which means that A value will be 5, B value will be 7, C value will be 8. So the given values are in terms of ratio. But the question they are asking that is answer. They are asking in terms of numbers. 
So what do you need to do? In the initial stage of the video, I have told this, right? So substitute a equal to 5x, b equal to 7x, c equal to 8x. So divided by again a value that is 5x. So finally, we got the answer that is 4. Question number 7. So x by y is equal to 6 by 5. So they have given the value of x by y will be 6 by 5. Then we need to find what is the value of x square plus y square. So divided by x square minus y square. So when just here, the given values are in terms of ratio. Yes or no? Because x by y is equal to 6 by 5, which can be also written as x is to y will be 6 is to 5. So the given values is, is in, the, in the term of ratio. But the answer they are asking in terms of numbers because we need to add and then we need to subtract here. Right? You can't able to directly substitute the values. So now we can take the value of x is equal to 6x, y is equal to 5x. Now substitute the value. Instead of x, substitute 6x, right? So 6x square. So plus instead of y, substitute 5x. So 5x the whole square. So divided by, again, instead of x, substitute 6x square. So minus of instead of y, substitute 5x square. So 5x square, got it? So 6x square will be 36x square. So plus 5 square will be 25x square. So divided by, so again, 6x square will be 36x square. So minus of 25x square. So 36, 25 will be 61x square divided by 36, 25 minus 25 will be 11. So 11x square. Cancel x square and x square. So answer will be 61 by 11. And so this is the one of the easy way to solve the question. If you have any books or search the same question in the Google, you will get the answer for half a page. A very, very lengthy process. Kindly don't follow all those methods. It's completely waste of time, right? If you are solving the same question for half a page, right, it's waste of time, right? You, you, how they usually solve this in some of the books and some of the uh, reference materials, you can able to see they will divide this numerator part by y square. They will divide the de denominator part by y square and then you will get x and y and substitute for x and y as 6 by 5 and then they multiply square the number and they subtract take LCM. Don't do all those kinds of methods right? because it's waste of time. It is a simple technique for the value. We know that the value of x will be 6. Value of y will be 5. So instead of x, substitute 6x. Instead of y, substitute 5x. That's it. You will get the answer. Understood or not? Right. This is the way you can solve the question in this similar pattern. Question number 8. So x is to y will be 8 is to 9. Right. And then, so what is our target? Our target is to find what is the value of 5x minus 4y ratio 3x plus 2y. You got it? This is the thing what we need to find here. So they have given the values in terms of ratio. But they are asking answer is also in terms of ratio. But we have something to do addition here and subtraction here. So what you need to do is first uh, we can do one thing where the value of x will be 8. Value of y is what 9. So instead of x substitute 8x. Instead of y substitute 9x. That's it you will get the answer right because we already know that the ratio they have given values are in terms of ratio answer is also they're asking in terms of ratio but remember one thing we need to add and subtract value some values so first we need to convert into numbers and then we need to find the ratio right so instead of x value substitute 8x so 5 into 8x minus of 4 into so y will be 9x substitute 9x here that's it you will get the answer easily so instead of x again 8x so plus instead of y 9x 2 into 9x that's it so 8 5 is a 40x 9 4s are 36x ratio so 8 3s are 24x 9 2s are 18x so now this will be 4x ratio and this will be uh, 30 42 so 42x so cancel x and x here so similarly you can cancel it on two table right if you cancel it on two table so this will be 21 2 is to 21 that's it so answer for this question will be 2 is to 21. Just see how easy it is. You don't want to any new methods to solve this question. Directly see the question, what their values they have given. Keep it as 8x and 9x. For x, substitute as 8x. For y value, substitute as 9x. You will get the final answer. Question number 9. So x divided by 2y is equals to 6 by 7. So our target is to find what is x minus y divided by x plus y 
plus 14 by 19. So just see here, again an easy technique what I have told you, just substitute the value of x and y based upon the question value. But here they have given 2y, so first convert into a proper term, so because x by y is equal to cross multiply, 2 into 6 will be 12, so 12 by 7, understood or not? So now we can say that the value of x will be 12 and y will be 7. So now according to the question what they are asking, they are asking the answer in terms of numbers, not in terms of ratio. So what do you need to do? So for x value substitute 12x, for y value substitute 7x, that's it you will get the answer right. So x is equal to 12x minus of y is equal to 7x divided by, so similarly 12x plus 7x is equal to, sorry it's plus 14 by 19. So now what you can do here is 12 and 7 right, so 12 and 7 when you subtract both these values it will be 5x right 5x divided by 12 plus 7 will be 19x so plus 14 by 19 so you can cancel x and x here so 5 by 19 plus 14 by 19 so resultant will be 19 by 19 so answer will be that's it easy or not it's very easy to solve again if you have books kindly refer all these questions you can able to see the answer will be in a lengthy process kindly don't solve like that it's waste of time so you can directly take the values in the given question, substitute for x and substitute for y, you will get the final answer easily. Understood? So this will be the answer for question number 9. Question number 10. So here you can able to see a is to b is equals to 2 is to 3. Right? So b is to c will be 4 is to 5. So now what is our target? Our target is to find what is a square is to b square is to bc. Right? So we need to find a square is to b square is to bc but here we know that a is to b will be 2 is to 3. So b is to c will be 4 is to 5. First before finding that a square b square b is to c first we need to find what is the value of a what is the value of b and what is the value of c. Because we know the value of a will be this and value of b in both the places. So we can't able to just like that take the value right. So what you need to do is you need to find what is a is to b is to c by using the same pattern and logic what we learned initially right. So a is to b will be 2 is to 3. So the last empty space write the nearby number that is 3 got it. So similarly b is to c will be 4 is to 5. So write 4 is to 5 here. So for the place of a write the nearby number. Nearby number of this place is 4. So write 4 here. So now multiply it. So 4 into 2 will be 8. 4 into 3 will be 12. So 5 into 3 will be 15. That's it. So finally, we found what is the value of a. So a will be 8. B will be 12. C will be 15. So now according to the question, what is our target? Our target is to find A is to A square is to B square is to BC. So now just substitute it. A square will be 64. right? So B square will be 144. And B into C, that is 12 into 15. So 12 into 15, that's it. So now I think... Uh, if possible, we can cancel it on four table, I think so, right? We can cancel it on four table. So if you cancel it on four table, that is 16 times, 16 fours are 64. So cancel it on four times, that is uh, four threes are 12, 36, right? Six fours are 24. So cancel it on four times three, that is 45. So finally, we can say that answer for this question. Check whether we can either simplify this. No, we can't able to further simplify this. 16, 36 and 45. So which is the answer for question number 10. Question number 11. So they have given a value that is a is to b. So a is to b is equals to 2 is to 3. So b is to c will be 4 is to 5. And uh, c is to d will be 6 is to 7. So what is our target? Our target is to find what is a is to b is to c is to d. Right? Just see a same logic what we the technique what we learned for a is to b is to c. But here there is an extra term called D, that's it. But all the methods that we learnt is same for all the question. Only one method we have learnt, just we are substituting the value and all the empty places we will put the nearby numbers, that's it. Even there isn't any extra term called E, F, etc. Right? If it goes on, that one technique will definitely help to solve all the question. Right? First initially you substitute all the values. A is to B will be 2 is to 3, right? So 2 is to 3. So C, D, both the values are an empty, right? So substitute the nearby number 3 and 3, that's it, right? So B is to C will be 4 is to 5. 
So 4 is to 5 here, but be careful here. So in this empty place, substitute the nearby number 4. In this empty place, substitute the nearby number 5. Understood or not? So similarly, C is to D will be 6 is to 7. So 6 is to 7. So in this empty place, 6 and 6 nearby number. That's it. But now multiply it. it or else you can multiply 2 into 4 into 6. Ratio 3 into 4 into 6. So ratio 3 into 5 into 6. Ratio 3 into 5 into 7. So instead of multiplying 15 into 7, wasting a time, just write like this and then cancel all the terms, right? So here I can cancel 3, 3, 3 and 2 times, yes or no? Cancelling it by a 3 table. So now check whether we can cancel any other numbers. I think I can't able to cancel any other numbers, right? Nothing. So just now multiply it. 4 into 2 is 8. 8 into 2 will be 16. So 6 into 4 will be 24. 6 into 5 will be 30. 35. That's it. So 16 is to 24 is to 30 is to 35 will be the answer for A is to B is to C is to D. That's it. Use the same technique to solve all the questions. Understood? If there is any empty space, write the nearby number. That's it. So here is question number 12. So after this question, I will give you two or more questions, right? So question number 12. So here you can able to see A is to B will be 2 by 9 is to 1 by 3. So they have given the values in terms of fraction, right? So first what you need to do? Take LCM, right? When you take LCM as 9, so this will be 2 as it is. 3 into 3 will be 9. So 1 into 3 will be 3. So finally, we can say that A is to B will be 2 is to 3. Understood or not, right? So first, always convert the given fraction term in terms of integer. So similarly, B is to C. So B is to Z is what? 2 by 7 is to 5 by 14. So now take the LCM as 14 here. 7 into 2 will be 14. So 2 into 2 will be 4. So 4 is to 5. So 4 is to 5 will be the ratio of B is to C. And the third term will be 7 is to 10 and 3 is to 5. Just see that they have given a value as D is to C. Right? So A is to B, B is to C. Convert it as C is to D. So convert now as C is to D. So this can be written as 3 by 5 is to 7 by 10. Right? In order to not to make any mistake while substituting the values there. So only we initially converted D is to C as C is to D. Right? That can be written as 3 by 5 is to 7 by 10. So now take LCM as 10 here. So 5 into 2. That is 6 is to 7. So we can say that 6 is to 7 will be the ratio of C is to D. So now our target is to find what is A is to B is to C is to D. Got it. Substitute the values. So A is to B will be 2 is to 3. So two empty places, right? 3 and 3 here. Similarly, B is to C will be 4 is to 5. So 4 is to 5. Again, write 5 here and 4 here. C is to D will be 6 is to 7. So 6 is to 7. So write 6 and 6. That's it. Right? So finally, we substituted all the values in this method. So now we need to multiply. right? So 4 into 2 into 6. So 4 into 2 into 6. Ratio 3 into 4 into 6. Ratio 3 into 5 into 6. Ratio 3 into 5 into 7. Right? Do not multiply this. 7 into 5 will be 35. 35 into 3, 105. Don't do that. It's it's completely time waste. So just multiply and write like this. And then it, it will be easy to cancel. Just see, we can cancel 3, 3, 3 here, 2 times here. So I think we can't able to cancel any other numbers. So 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 2 will be 16. So similarly, 6 4s are 24. 6 5s are 30. 7 5s are 35. That's it. So answer for this question will be 16 is to 24 is to 30 is to 35. So friends, understood the logic, right? So I have, finally we will we have solved a 12 question on this uh, finding ratio values. So I hope you have understood how to solve the question. So initially for A is to B is to C, we have used a logic, a same logic. We can apply to all the terms, even there is extra uh, E, F, etc. We can use the same logic to solve the question. Understood? And second importantly, where you need to uh, put the numbers directly and where you need to change the number as 5x, 3x, etc. So everything I have told you in this lesson number 2. So I will give you a 2 homework question. Just I have given 2 homework question. One is that is based on a fraction value and another is that is based on an integer. So try to solve both the questions and check whether you are getting the answers or not. So that's it about this lesson number two. So thank you so much for watching this video. So here we have learned the basics of ratio proportion. So in the next, next lesson, from the next lesson, we can able to solve some medium level questions so that now you are strong in basics. You know how to find A, B, C. 
So after finding A, B, C based upon the questions, we will we need to find some of the values of A, B, etc. It will be based on salary or it will be based on income uh, expenditure, etc. So all those cases. So for the coming lessons or upcoming lessons, we can solve the questions, right? So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much for watching it. Bye.